Hi, Ramsey Amin DDS here at BurbankDentalImplants.com. Uh, this is a, a case today I want to present that has got to do with replacement of all teeth. Uh, this very pleasant woman had her lower front teeth extracted recently. She was already missing all of her uppers and uh, all of her lower back teeth and subsequently lost the lower front teeth, which really changes the game. Once you're missing all of the bottom teeth, uh, it becomes very difficult to hold dentures in. You can see with the dentures out, her face does collapse in. She has a considerable amount of bone loss. This is the lower denture, which is a common appearance after it's been repaired by a dentist to add these lower front teeth in to kind of make the partial denture into a full denture temporarily and the upper denture has gone through uh, quite a bit here it's been broken multiple times she's told me along this along the same path and it's just really large it covers all of her palate uh, the bone when the cheeks are pulled back this is the upper jaw the lower jaw there's the tongue right there this is where the lower front teeth used to be right up here in the front and you can see the bone is kind of bumpy there they were recently extracted by uh, another dentist and she came to me to look at having a Pertow dental implant fixed bridge. She does not want to wear dentures anymore and wants to have full fixed teeth all the time. This is the upper jaw, this is the front of the mouth, this is the back of the mouth, and you see the jaw is a um, kind of a narrow U shape. And the sinus cavities are located in this area right over here and also in this area. They're kind of right behind where our molars used to be. And we'll talk about those shortly when we see the 3D scan. On the lower jaw, we can see the bone is very thin. That bone used to be oh, three times the width over there. And also, it has already started to get quite skinny because once you lose a tooth or extract a tooth, the bone begins to shrink uh, relatively immediately. The, this is the tongue over here. This is the front of the mouth. This is where the lower incisors used to be. Uh, the denture, as you can see, is quite off-center. It's really, um, unfortunately, has been through quite a lot of uh, repairs and, and, and it's just it's not doing well. The midline center appears to be off to the left. We can see the lower midline is over here, the upper midline is over there. So I'm sure when we see a, a face picture, yes, we can see that the midline is off center, should be over here, uh, more in line with the center of the lips and the face. And this is the side view from the denture showing an overbite, which may or may not be replaced. It needs to be determined based on. Uh, her face and how how it will support the the lips. We can again see a little bit of that overbite, lots of repairs. These dentures I'm sure have quite a bit of an odor because when they've been repaired that many times they begin to become porous. So this is the three-dimensional x-ray here that was taken in my office with our 3D scanner. Um, of course, this is the outline of this patient's face. This is their sinuses over here, which we'll talk, which we'll talk more. And I'll kind of go through some of the planning of of what it takes to place these 11 implants into the mouth and help diagram for you a little bit about what all this is. The Pertow dental implant bridge is usually well supported by six well spaced dental implants on the upper and somewhere between five to six on the lower jaw. Those red lines that you see over there, those are the nerve that that nerve gives sensation to the lips, tongue, cheek, and and chin. The the tongue comes from a little bit of a different area, but it branches from back over here. And we can see in this in this virtualization of the mouth here how how this planning comes into into place. The 3D allows me to see here. We can see the deviated septum. This is the top of the nose over here and and really uh, see what the inside of the sinuses appear like. And this is important for for judging the quality of bone and bone height over here. On this patient I had done a what's called the bilateral sinus bone graft on her and we can see that this were her, this were her sinuses before and this is all the new bone that was added in. There's plenty of information on this blog site about rebuilding bone in the sinuses, but we can see that in the back of the mouth, if this procedure was not done, there would not be enough bone to place implants in the back. Uh, the sinuses carry very far forward inside of her mouth, and you know, we can kind of appreciate 
the, the jaw from here is the lower jaw, her dentures in place, and these are the upper, the upper jawbone that was grafted here. So now we have freedom to place implants in the proper position. And when I come to the implant uh, virtualization over here, I know this looks a little bit confusing. I'm going to start to take away uh, a little bit of this stuff over here because there is a lot going on when there's that many implants. My plan is to actually place all these implants at the same time. These are um, these those kind of anchor pins that you see that come from the side right there. Those allow the guide to be stabilized. There is a computer uh, computer designed almost 3D printed surgical guide that will allow me to place all of these implants into her mouth with the same precision and guidance that I've done to place each one of them. You can see when I take just a single implant like so, it highlights, and I can move that implant in or out into a different position and place that in the in the best position of the jawbone and be able to uh, tilt it in a certain angulation and also protect where the, where that nerve ending is, especially on the bottom jaw. Because in the bottom jaw, that's pretty critical. These lower implants are going to be purposely tilted in order to place these implants into a precision location. On the lower jaw, you can see the bone is much thinner. This is this is what the implant looks like in its size. It's about oh, almost four millimeters in diameter and thirteen millimeters long. We like to get uh, good long implants to support full Pertow bridges. Uh, definitely an all on four is really under engineered. A minimum of five on the bottom and minimum of six on the top, depending on how many teeth you want. But again, we can see the what goes into this process of of designing of designing the teeth. And on this view, gives us a bit of an, a, a color image for where the implants are going to be placed. But again. This is this is virtual. This will be taken to the mouth. The gums will be open. These 11 implants will be inserted with the surgical guide. Uh, the gums will be closed, and the implants will be allowed to heal for approximately four to six months. At that point, then we can also uncover the implants and place. Uh, the teeth. The teeth process in general takes about four months to make. There are prototypes that are involved that will allow the patient to test drive each one of the teeth and see how it fits, see how she can speak and talk and the lip position so she can go home and show her husband what, is, what do things look like. Do we have the center online? Uh, are the teeth the right color, the right shape, the right length? It allows everything to be customized, not just a uh, one size fits all for for every patient. But again, this is this is what goes into what goes into planning. This is what I spend many many hours doing, and this virtual surgery, in, in my opinion, is extremely important. And using three dimensional planning uh, is is in this day and age of 2015 is just an absolute necessity. Uh, these softwares are pretty advanced and they do take some time to uh, to learn and, and train others on their use. But again, this is a basic case uh, for this patient. I will keep you posted uh, over the course of this year as she progresses. So, so far the sinus bone grafts are done. We have plenty of height in the back for a good 13 millimeter length of implant. And even the back, we have good wide, wide positions. All right, thanks so much for listening, and uh, your comments are welcome below. Thanks so much.